one. Just a few bloomers today. I wanted to show them to you in natural light uh, to make sure we see the colors correctly and just to enjoy their pretty blooms. Uh, this is Apache Midnight. I wanted to show this one in natural light in particular because of the color of its blooms. It's called Apache Midnight, very appropriately so, because the color of the blooms is very, very dark purple. And on some photographs that I found online, it appears almost black. And I wanted to show you what the color looks like in natural light. This plant comes from my local African Violet Club when I used to live in Southern California. It also has a variable white edge that can be seen here very well uh, on the blooms and beautiful variegated dark green with some uh, beige uh, <clears throat> variegation or cream variegation around the edges and on the younger leaves. Apache Midnight. Next one is Lion's Black Magic. Also very beautiful, strong, dark green variegated foliage. This one is wavy, which I like, and I think it's even serrated. A little zigzaggy pattern here on the edge of the leaf. And beautiful dark purple pansy shaped blooms with pink fantasy. Lion's Black Magic. Now here is the star of uh, wow, our previous episodes, Opera's Juliet, now blooming in her first blooming cycle with beautiful pale lavender frilled star-shaped blooms with some white fantasy. Very large growing standard variety, large standard with beautiful dark green quilted shiny foliage. Next is a newer variety for me that is just about to bloom very nicely in this round. It's called Aya Rak by Yevgeny Arhipov and it translates into English as AE Cancer, like a zodiac sign Cancer. This one has dark purple frilled blooms that are double and they have pink puff fantasy and right now it's just beginning the, to open its first flower. Plain dark green foliage on this one. Also just beginning to open its first blooms up to Mara Yosemite with Roman numeral 2. I like this hybrid for its very strong bloom stalks, very good bloom count, and when it opens, it blooms with white, double, very double blooms. I know there are not such thing as very double, but they're very full double uh, blooms uh, that are white with the blue in color. And this one has light to medium green, plain foliage, very symmetrically growing hybrid. Here we have a standard variety. It's called Sisters Secrets. Gorgeous blooms on this one. Very large blooms. Um, I think they are single and semi-double. And uh, they have very beautiful 
coral pink color, main color, with darker shading towards the edge of the petal and white pencil edge around. And the shape of each bloom is like a teacup shape, I would say. Very unusual, striking beauty, and not often seen. Sister Secrets, vigorous grower with dark green, plain foliage. And I think this one has red back. Yep. Sister Secrets. Next is a hybrid by Dadayan called Marquise. I got it last year from Violet Barn. This one is a very easy grower, grows into a very large, well, not very large, but large uh, standard. And uh, it's blooming now. It's supposed to have double blooms, but right now, because it's so hot, uh, still here, we're having last hot days uh, with the temperature in the 90s here in Oregon, but luckily it's cooling off finally, beginning next week. So hopefully it can show its full blooming potential in the next blooming cycle. But even in this one, in the hot summer weather, you can see that it's an excellent bloomer and the blooms are beautiful, pink color with darker shading in the center and then also the darker pink around the petals and the penciled white edge as well here on this one beautiful green foliage surrounding the blooms marquise by dadoyan and then here we have just a tiny little plant of yelena korshunova it's called E.K. Moulin Rouge, uh, grown from a leaf. And not really huge blooming cycle, so not a very, uh, a very impressive uh, sight to see, but I wanted to show it to you so you could see the true color of the blooms, which is a very beautiful burgundy, very dark burgundy with some a very um, slight white edging frilled edging around the petals, dark green foliage. And I have another plant of this one that is growing under the LED lights and uh, it surprises me with the color of the foliage. I'm gonna show it to you right now, how different it is. Here is the second plant of EK Moulin Rouge by Korshunova. And this one has much lighter foliage and much more prominent variegation on leaves. It's just uh, preparing to bloom and it is growing under the full spectrum uh, Barina grow light. So you can see uh, the different culture really brings uh, different results in African violets. And this is a sibling plant. So this plant and the one that is grown at the north facing window in natural light, they are siblings uh, grown from the same mother leaf. So uh, don't be surprised when you grow your African violets that they don't look quite exactly like the mother plant from which you purchased them. Uh, they can bring different results in different growing conditions. <laughs> 